what is going on everybody in today's video i'm going to show you a no bs guide to quickly get n8n set up so you can self-host it on your own home server and you can start using its unlimited features um for you know executions and it can be a make.com alternative as well as a zapier alternative so you can save money as well as have more freedom with your no code automations let's dive right into it All right, so if you're not familiar with N8N, uh, I'm fairly newer to it as well. So um, I will be doing more and more videos on this, but essentially it's similar to something like Zapier or Make, um, you know, these no code tools that allow us to connect APIs. But, um, you know, some people say it's a bit more advanced or stuff like this. It's, it's really not from what I've seen. I mean, yes, it has more advanced capabilities, but as long as you can like, if you, as long as you're pretty, uh, you know, as long as you're not super, super new and I, yeah, if you're super new, I would maybe suggest going with make or Zapier to start, but, um, as long as you can like read and someone understand JSON and a few different things, this should be good for you. And we go to their pricing here. Um, you can see here they have these different plans. So they have the starter at 20 pounds a month. Uh, twenty percent off. Oh, this is annual, so it's about twenty-four pounds uh, a month. Um, so two point five. It's limited, you know, five active workflows. It's actually a lot more. It seems a lot more limited than Make.com, and this is for their uh own hosted N8N instance or servers. Um, for self-hosting. Now, there's really two ways. Yes, you can sell. I'm gonna show you how to self-host it on your home server, just so you can get that going right away. Um, I'll probably do another video showing you how to actually set it up on your own VPS server or your own server in the cloud. Um, but for now, I'm just going to show you how to get it set up right away. You can start using it on your own network. All right. And the great thing about N8N is it's uh, open source. It's, you can do it. It's absolutely free. So for example, things like make.com and I love make, I've done a bunch of videos on make. But you can see here the pricing, and uh, it's pretty fair some to some degree. Like, um, it's somewhat decent. I mean, it could definitely, you know, like anything, it could be cheaper. But, um, yeah, pretty good pricing. It's a lot cheaper than Zapier. If we go to Zapier here and check out the pricing real quick. Yeah, uh, 20 bucks for, you know, limited features here of only... <laughs> yeah it's how many tasks you need a month a hundred um okay so i don't yeah it's like two thousand tasks for 68 bucks super pricey um so anyways let's dive into n8n um so there's two main ways to really s install it one is through um npm and the other is through docker um and then of course you can install it in your servers right here those are different options um i'll probably be doing a video uh, sometime this week i would assume on installing it in a server so if you're interested in that stay on the lookout for that but uh, to get started, so you can get started playing around with N8N and seeing how it works and using it, maybe building out a few uh, scenarios, um, what you can do is you're going to want to start off by installing node dot, or Node.js. So if you don't already have that installed, you're definitely going to want to install that. And you can just download it for free here, um, Node.js.org. And then once you're done that, you're gonna want to go to your um if you're on windows you're going to go to your powershell or your terminal we're gonna run this as administrator so make sure you're running it as administrator and then you're simply just gonna run the command um right here which is npm install or space install dash g for global and then n8n all right i'm not going to run it because i've already ran it 
Um, once you run that, it's probably going to take a minute or two just to run that fully. And then once you're done that, you're going to, and now I'm only going to be showing you the NPM um, method in the node method in this video. Maybe I'll do another one on the dark Docker method later. But um, once you actually run that, you're going to want to start NAN. So you could start it without the tunnel like i'm showing you here i would just suggest to start it with the tunnel and i'll show you i'll tell you why for example if i go to the nan docs right here um and yeah all this is available on their website you just go to docs so like if you're here you go to documentation and it will walk you through every single thing every command i'm doing here but you can see here you can test it here you can run it globally here um etc updating generating etc but um if you just start it normally without the tunnel which i'm gonna do right here i start it so it's uh user settings loading from etc initializing any end process checking the port so it's hosted on five six seven eight port and you're gonna get a tunnel url now the reason you do it with the tunnel url is because it's going to give you this url right here now this url is what you can use well once we actually load it up for web hooks all right because um it's going to say press o to open in browser i'm going to press o and i'm going to show you o there we go it's loading so localhost if you don't run it through a tunnel when you actually go into the nan uh interface it's going and you try to create a webhook it's going to give you a local um local like a local address local host address for the webhook and that's not going to be you're not going to be able to send anything from like any external app to that webhook url all right so that's very important um but yeah this is the actual interface here so you can see here i'll give you a quick overview of it for those of you that are new here this is the template section so explore 800 plus templates Submitted by the community. You can check some of these out, easily import them into your N8N um, instance over there. There's a bunch of integrations. I'm not going to go like this is not a full in depth tutorial on N8N, but you, there's like 3,000. Oh, no, that's the company using N8N, but there's a bunch of integrations Airtable, um, OpenAI, uh, you know, click up, go high level, webhooks, of course, HTTP requests, Telegram, Gmail, etc. And um, let's just go back to our instance here. Computer's a little bit, yeah, there we go. So we have variables. So this is available on the enterprise plan. Variables can be used to store access, uh, store and access data across workflows. Reference them in the N8N. Uh, N8 N using pref uh, prefix variables etc so you need the enterprise plan for that execution shows there settings so you'll see your usage and plan which of course since we're self-hosting we've used zero of unlimited right so that's pretty awesome we have our information here users and an api all that good stuff but i'm going to show you right here if we go to home we check out our workflows so you'll have your workflows and credentials here but let me just show you this workflow for example so click on this this is what the builder looks like nice interface here if i go to webhook and click on this now you'll see we have that tunnel url so if i use this tunnel url for example let me just pull up something over here go here i'm going to show you guys this as a test so let's see um n8n right here um and then see here this has the local host webhook this obviously doesn't work but if i put in the tunnel webhook address Let's see, I don't know if I have something to test. The testing, so let me see. Listen for test event. Um, okay, let me, it may have to send that again. 
Okay, so a few things I wanted to note here. I was having some issues. So you got to make sure you are on the tunnel uh, URL when you're doing this. All right. You can't be on the local host to go without saying. Um, but yeah, I was making that mistake. And then also too, you, let's see. So we're, what we did here was we did a get and when you're testing things out, you're going to need to use the test URL. Um, and, and then, yeah, and then you can, um, so for example, like here's what I did. I pasted in the test URL right here for webhook and let me just listen for event. So we're listening for events here. We're going to test. and there we go so we got the information right here the webhook um the record id and base url that's all we really pass through all right so you could go ahead continue building this out um and yeah this will give you a good start in terms of actually just getting an eight and set up there's a lot more you can do there's a lot more i did not cover all right, guys, so that's it for this video. Now you know how to host NAN locally on your computer. Uh, in a future video, like I said, I'm going to show you how to actually host it on a your own server, like a VPS. So you actually can increase the limits. And if you're running a lot of executions and scenarios, it's going to be a lot better that way. Plus, you can have it hosted basically in the cloud on your own server. And all you'll be paying for is just a server cost, which is very minimal comparative to things like make.com all right one of the reasons that funny enough i actually did this uh actually started really looking into um make uh, n8n was because i love make right but as you can see here if i go to my organizations i've been you know really using a lot of operations lately so i have had to inc like buy extra operations this month like i had the 40,000 plan i'm at uh, almost 120 thousand so yeah increasingly uh using more operations as well as data transfer and you know not only just to save money and to have a alternative but also too because i've heard a lot of good things about nan and you also have a lot more freedom is what i've heard but i'll be diving into it more um this week and doing future videos like i said showing you how to set things up as well as do workflows leverage ai automations all that good stuff if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe to stay up to date for all that and if you haven't already joined our stride community it's a free group we have about 700 members in our discord and facebook uh group right now link for that will be in the description and then also too guys you can check out my book client acquisition code link for that will be in the description as well Anyways, guys, if you're new here, we upload a video every single day, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.